plants don't eat hamburgers or pizza. They don't eat like we do, do they? Wait, if plants don't eat food like us, how do they stay alive? Did you know that plants have a superpower? They can make their own food. This process is called photosynthesis. Plants make their own food using sunlight from the sky, water from the ground, and a special gas called carbon dioxide from the air. During photosynthesis, plants combine these ingredients to create their own food and energy. Isn't that awesome? Photosynthesis Yes, it's like a recipe for life and plants are the chefs. Interesting! The term photosynthesis comes from two Greek words. Photo meaning light. Synthesis meaning to put together or combine. Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants and other organisms like algae and some bacteria use sunlight to combine carbon dioxide and water to make food in the form of glucose. They release oxygen as a byproduct, which is essential for life on Earth. Oxygen is a gas that we breathe. Yes, you are right. Just like how you eat food to have energy to play, run and grow, plants use their food to have energy too. The food they make is called glucose, which is a type of sugar. This food is super important because it gives the plant energy to do everything it needs like growing taller, making flowers and fruits, fixing broken parts or repairing and making new chemicals needed for plant growth and maintenance. Would you like to see where the plant cooks its own food? Let's take a look inside the leaf. Do you see those tiny green structures? They are called chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are grouped inside the plant cells. As we know, cells are the tiny building blocks that makes up all living things. These chloroplasts are like the plant's kitchen, where it makes its food. This is also where photosynthesis happens. Chloroplasts house a special green pigment called chlorophyll inside them. Do you know why leaves are mostly green? It is because they contain this special green pigment called chlorophyll. What are pigments? A pigment is something that gives color to an object. It's like a special paint inside the leaves that makes them look green. Chlorophyll has a special job. It helps the plant capture sunlight. Sunlight is the plant's energy source and the chlorophyll works like a solar panel, soaking up the light. Once the sunlight is captured, the plant uses it to make its own food and grow. Plants absorb water from the soil using their roots, which act like tiny straws. The roots not only collect water, but also gather nutrients dissolved in water. This water then moves upward through a network of tiny tubes in the plant's stem called xylem. Xylem. Now, let's talk about the next helper in photosynthesis. The bottom of a plant's leaves has tiny openings called stomata. They act like small doors that open and close to allow water and gases to move in and out of the plant. Stomata allow the plant to take in carbon dioxide from the air. This gas is one of the key ingredients for making food during photosynthesis. After photosynthesis, plants release oxygen back into the air through the stomata. This makes plants crucial for producing the oxygen we breathe. Stomata also controls the movement of water in and out of the plant. Now that plant has gathered all the important ingredients like sunlight, water and carbon dioxide in its leaves, let's see how the amazing process of photosynthesis works. 
these ingredients travel to a special part of the leaves called the chloroplast, where the magic happens. Inside the chloroplast, carbon dioxide and water combine with the help of energy from sunlight. This process creates glucose and oxygen. Glucose is a type of sugar that the plant uses as food and oxygen is released into the air. Glucose is transported to other parts of the plant where it is used for growth, repair and storage. While plants are the most familiar, there are other amazing photosynthetic organisms that play a big role in supporting life on Earth. These include algae and cyanobacteria. Algae live in water like ponds, lakes and oceans. They can be very tiny like little specks or big like seaweed. Just like plants, algae use sunlight to make their own food. Cyanobacteria are tiny single-cell organisms that live in water and even in extreme environments like hot springs. They are one of the oldest photosynthetic organisms on Earth and helped create the oxygen-rich atmosphere we breathe today. Photosynthesis helps in many amazing ways. Oxygen production. Plants make oxygen during photosynthesis and release it into the air. We need oxygen to breathe and stay alive and so do most animals. Making food and energy for life. Plants are the starting point for all food on earth because they make their own food through photosynthesis. So plants are also called producers. This process not only nourishes the plants but also provides food for other living things. Herbivores like cows and rabbits eat plants directly. while carnivores like lions eat animals that feed on plants. This flow of energy, starting with plants, forms the foundation of the food chain, ensuring that all living things have the nourishment they need to survive. Cleaning and balancing the air. Humans and many animals need oxygen to breathe, and we release carbon dioxide when we exhale. During photosynthesis, plants take in this carbon dioxide and release oxygen back into the air. This process not only keeps the air clean but also helps prevent too much carbon dioxide from making the earth too warm. Photosynthesis ensures the air stays healthy for us to breathe. Without photosynthesis, plants wouldn't grow, animals wouldn't have food and life on earth wouldn't exist. Photosynthesis is awesome! Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.